Today's video is going to be very awkward for me. I suck at talking about my feelings. I actually thought that I was going to make a tweet about this. I just kind of felt like that was not the right way to talk about it. I don't know y'all. I suck at talking about my feelings about normal things, but yeah. So if you guys have been following me for like longer than like a minute you'll probably know that kane and i have been in a very long relationship but kane and i recently broke up actually it wasn't that recent it was like a month ago i felt like i needed to make a video about this because i didn't want it to sound like this big dramatic breakup because to be honest i feel like i couldn't make this breakup sound dramatic if i tried kane and i are still cool with each other it was just that we both weren't happy. I don't really know how much I want to share, but Kane and I just weren't happy being together. I feel like we were both leaning on each other too much to be happy, but really you have to be happy inside yourself before you're gonna find happiness. You can't expect someone else to give that to you, so... I posted a video a couple of weeks ago of Kane and I and a lot of the comments on that video were about how people are going to be so sad if Kane and I ever break up. I don't want y'all to be sad because this means that Kane and I are happier. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. This means that Kane and I are going to be a lot happier. But you guys have probably noticed too, I have been so inconsistent on YouTube. I've been so inconsistent in just my general life, I feel so uncomfortable doing everything. I just feel like I need to be more independent. I need to know myself. That's the update. I feel like this video is going to be very, very short. I don't really know what else to say. I want you guys to know that Kane and I are still chill. We're still friends. We took these photos together like literally a week ago and we broke up like four weeks ago. So it's chill. I just don't want y'all to think that there's like bad blood between Kane and I. I hope y'all will still support him because Kane is one of the coolest people. The situation that we were in, it was just not a happy situation. Neither of us felt motivated, neither of us felt happy every single day. So I felt like I couldn't just make a tweet about this or post something about this because you guys have followed us literally since I started my YouTube channel and I just felt like if I just made some text post about this that would be leaving so much room for y'all to have questions or to make assumptions but it is the least dramatic thing ever kane feels a lot better i feel a lot better i literally got to the point where i felt uncomfortable like going to the store by myself your girl doesn't feel like that anymore so we are growing i don't really know what kind of questions y'all would have about this situation I'm not really sure if I would have covered them. Kane's awesome. We're still gonna hang. We're still friends. But I hope you guys will continue to support Kane. I hope that you guys aren't sad about this. I am gonna keep posting videos. It's like kind of a sad thing because Kane and I are best friends. Like we literally spent like every single day together. So it's sad that to be happier, we had to like go our separate ways. I just feel like for a really long time, I was putting our relationship being like a successful, good relationship ahead of me inside, just feeling good about like where I'm going, what I'm thinking. I would wake up every single day and I would just feel so down on myself. And I feel like I have realized that it's so internal. Like you cannot expect anyone to do anything for you. You can't expect anyone to make you happier. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that Kane didn't make me happy. It's just that we needed to go make ourselves happy and it wasn't gonna work us trying to make each other happier. I feel like this doesn't make sense. Honestly, it doesn't really matter because it doesn't need to make sense to anyone else but yeah that's just where I'm at I'm still trying to get my visa I'm still trying to move to America I'm still gonna post videos Kane and I are still friends we're still gonna hang out and we're both a lot happier even though like at the moment it is kind of awkward we're so used to like being together every single day so now it's weird Kane and I broke up that's what happened but it's for the best there is no bad blood. So I think I'm gonna leave it there because I don't even really know what to say. Like, it's just so awkward. I feel like 
there should be so much that I have to say but it's just really not that deep it's just we both wanted to be happier and we both feel like it's a lot more possible to be that way if we're not together so yeah I just felt like I wanted to explain I didn't want you to have questions or try and fill in the gaps yourself there's no gaps it's just all about happiness that's literally the most important thing in life i feel being happy i hope you guys are having a good day i'm not sure if i'm gonna have a video up next weekend i'm literally about to go on my computer and book flights because your girl is going on a vacation because i haven't done that in like forever if anything i hope that this video shows you guys that things like this don't have to be so dramatic there doesn't always have to be bad blood there doesn't always have to be some freaking tea and drama and shade it can literally just be that y'all just grew apart and you just need to go do your own separate things i feel like a lot of people think it's weird that kane and i still want to be friends but that's how it is so if you don't understand whatever i hope you guys are having a good day and I love you guys and I'll see you guys soon.